This video explains how to change a continuous color range in a ggplot2 plot using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data set is appearing which is called data. And if you click on this data set, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data set. And as you can see, our data frame contains two columns, X and Y, and both of these columns contain numeric values. Now, if you want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines six and seven of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to run line seven of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to create a ggplot2 plot using the ggplot and geompoint functions, as you can see in lines 9 and 10. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new plot object called ggp is appearing. And we can draw this plot to the bottom right of RStudio by running line 11 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a scatter plot, which contains a continuous color range which is ranging from dark blue to light blue. Now let's assume that we want to modify this color range manually. Then we can apply the color ramp palette function as you can see in line 13 of the code. And in this case, I want to specify a color range between the colors yellow and red. And for that reason, I'm specifying a vector containing these two color names within this function. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data object that I'm calling fun color range. So if you run line 13 of the code, you can see that this object is appearing at the top right of RStudio. And as you can see, this fun color range object is actually a function. And now we can apply this function to a certain number of colors that we want to generate between this range. So if we specify the value 20 within our user defined function, a vector of colors containing 20 color codes is created. So if you run line 15 of the code, a new data object called my colors is created. And we can print this data object to the RStudio console by running line 16 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a vector that contains 20 hex color codes that are ranging between the colors yellow and red. And now we can use this color range to change the continuous color range in our ggplot2 plot, as you can see in lines 18 and 19 of the code. So in line 18 of the code, I'm specifying the plot object that I have created before, which is called ggp. And then I'm adding to this the scale color gradient n function. And within this function, I'm specifying the colors argument to be equal to our vector of colors that we have created before. So if you run lines 18 to 19 of the code, you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that our plot is updated. And this time our color range is ranging from yellow to red. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.